Hello, I'm going to do a quick uh, example that shows how to communicate a love you to an Arduino board. And uh, we're going to be using uh, serial communications, even though Arduino is truly a USB and then uh, it's changed into uh, a virtual COM port. So let's start. First thing you do is you create your Arduino program. And all this is doing is pulling a thermocouple every 250 milliseconds and printing those readings to the screen. You can pause the video to look at the whole code. And to test it, you can do the serial monitor. So either you should see thermocouple readings from it. So let's close this and let's close Arduino also. Now, on LabVIEW, before I start, I can tell you LabVIEW has already an Arduino set of functions, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to do it uh, a different way, using serial communications. So the first thing you do is uh, you open a serial port, then you also want to close it. You're going to read the amount of bytes in, in the uh, buffer waiting to be read and you're going to pull those um, bytes every x amount of seconds milliseconds so you're going to pull for those readings every x milliseconds which in this case will be uh, 300 so for that you got a timer I said 300 and you're going to create a stop control to stop your while loop. Now the address of the COM port is COM5 and that was just what Arduino decided to choose in my computer. Notice I only had one COM port available that's because I have a new computer and most of new computers don't have COM ports anymore. but they have virtual computers, which is just another interface, in this case, 232 was over USB. And it gets transformed down at the Arduino board with something like an FTDI USB to serial converter. So all I have here is uh, I open the COM port, I read the amounts of bytes at the buffer, and then I read the value, and then I close the COM port. So at this point, I should read some temperature readings here in this little box. There it is. Now let's make a little fancier and add a chart. So we can see the change over time. To do that, you need to change the string data type to double. And that's on the string palette. So fractional expression string to number. Now I'm doing this kind of quick because my video recording software doesn't support big data so I, I want to finish the video before it gets filled up. But you can always pause it. So I changed a double a string to a double and now we should be able to read the values in the string indicator and in our graph. So if I touch the uh, thermocouple, you should see it going up. There it is. Now let go. It should start going down slowly. There it is. It's slowly going down. Okay, now there is a mistake here. Or error gets erased every time the loop iterates. And we really need to follow through with the errors. So to do that you create a shift register. Replace with shift register. So this is what I'm doing here right now. And you can look online how to do that and what's point of doing it. So we can tell what our error is every cycle iteration. 
so this will tell us if we have communication errors. Now I think uh, that concludes the tutorial and it's very simple. Now the benefit of this is that you have your data in your computer, you can log it, you can publish it to a website, you can do more uh, complicated analysis like Fourier transforms or whatever you might want to try. Um, you can also control I.O. so that you can have a maybe send the packet to this program to turn a light from your cell phone. The possibilities are a great and um, that's it. Any questions you can just post it on the website. Thanks.